It like happens it, in Brazil too. Does it? Of yeah. course, yeah. Do you have like celebrities that run for office. Of yeah. course, yeah. One right. of our, one of our, uh, one of our most famous congressmen was a Big Brother. Oh no! Yeah, it was a Big Brother. That, and that Big Brother show is so ridiculous. It That's is the worst way to become a celebrity. One of the most <laughs> watched shows in Brazil. That's crazy. I don't think people watch that much here. Do, do they? I don't know anymore. How they Still? Do. I think so for sure. Well, the I've crazy thing was Amarosa. Oh. Amarosa, who was one of the big, she was a, a big staff she was in the apprentice, White House. Apprentice. Yeah. yeah. Before that, she was on Fear Factor. I, when you I was did? the host, I didn't know. I had a fucking altercation with her on Fear Factor. Not a bad one, but she, she accused me of being drunk. Oh. She was like, because I was asking her questions. I was like, that doesn't make sense. She goes, Joe, you're drunk. I'm like, I'm not drunk. You can't just say I'm drunk. She was a ridiculous. She was the Fear Factor <laughs> before The Apprentice? No, she was on something else first before The Apprentice. I uh, think that was it. Was she on The Apprentice and then Fear Factor? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Was Fear Factor before The Apprentice? Or <laughs> Same the time. Apprentice I'm before pretty Fear sure she Factor. got famous for being on The Apprentice. She was on like the second season maybe. Uh, yeah, I remember. Why did I think she was on another show oh, first yeah. and then The Apprentice? She after. went to another reality show after The Apprentice. I don't know. Who, who, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, well, the crazy thing is she went from The White House to Big Brother. Uh, she was actually on the first season of The Apprentice. Oh, so that's probably like what year was that? So on. she was on Celebrity Fear Factor. We we had a 2003, 2004. 2003. Oh, okay. okay, so she must have been on Fear Factor like 2005. Yeah. She was nice though. She's just, but I, she was, she told me I was drunk. I was like, what? She wasn't elected, right? She wasn't no, like no, running. No. She was appointed by Trump. But Trump gave. So here's what's fucked up. That's crazy. Here's what's really. <laughs> I was reading an article about the what the problems with what she did. Uh. When she was in the Situation Room and these secured White House rooms, she had her fucking phone recording. So she's sitting there recording shit in the middle of these, these, like s totally secure rooms. She's record like Trump is talking. She's got her phone there. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, <laughs> and she's recording everything on her fucking phone. So she has like hours and hours of footage of record uh, recordings That's rather, crazy. which you're not supposed to do. It's like you could li literally Russians and Chinese and uh, the Iranians and all the anybody that wants to tune in could hack into her fucking phone, turn the microphone on, and this is absolute proven technology, and they're using that. To listen in the middle of the situation room. So if there's some sort of top secret shit that's going on, some foreign entity could be listening in through her phone while she's recording. I don't think they it's need so a, ignorant. I don't think they need all of that. They just call Trump and ask what happened. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you. They're like, what happened? They're like, okay. I'll yeah, but it. I mean, he's he allowed her this. You know, I don't know if she's unstable, but she seems a little unstable. <laughs> To, to, that's a such a very dangerous thing to do. You're not even supposed to bring your fucking phone into those rooms, and for her to be recording, recording everything. That's like, crazy. So crazy, is, right? But it's so oh. selfish too. Like if you are acting in the best, you're in a position when you're working for the White House. You're working for Donald Trump. He's the president of the United States, the biggest superpower in the fucking world, and you're re just recording things. Like, God, <laughs> I know that you want to serve yourself. I know you want to help yourself out, but God, that seems so crazy. <laughs> you do. I mean, if you were Trump and you hired her and you found out she was recording everything in the situation room, you must be like, oh, like in conferences with like, uh, like they're talking about important policy and she's got her phone recording and anybody can be listening. But if you think about it, like. It's crazy for him to to, he, to give her some some credibility. Yeah, because she was an apprentice. He liked but then her. you think about it. Okay, the president of the United States is a guy that was running apprentice. Yes. So it's, <laughs> I don't think that's he liked her. Maybe he felt like was, well, look, she's very articulate. She's a good-looking woman. She knows how to speak well. She's got a lot of confidence and power. He probably figured she'd be a great politician. Perfect. I'm yeah. a great politician. He's probably like, I'm the fucking president. I'll make her. She's, she's going to be my my left hand lady or yeah. right hand lady. It is not that that difficult. But at least in Brazil, it's not that difficult for famous people to get elected in the when they were running for a congressman mm -hmm. because there's so many options mm -hmm. that if you're known and you get like one percent of the voting, you're already elected. Uh. But if you go run for like a mayor or like a, a governor, a, a governor or something, yeah. it becomes a little tricky because there's like five options. 
options and now yeah. you're running against real politicians real politicians who actually have a plan yeah. yeah so if you're running against like 200 people you can shine a little because you're famous yeah we're, we're starting to see a little bit more of that in America like Cynthia Nixon she was on Sex in the City and then she ran for which she ran for governor in New York right oh yeah for it? yeah so there's there's a few of that a few that are starting to branch off into politics mm -hmm. now it's that was, i mean did it happen before ronald reagan because he was like yes. he was a famous actor. he's the most yeah. famous he i think he he was a movie star he was yeah. a bang he's, bang right yeah he was the first guy like that joke in back to the future you mean like ronald reagan the movie star and yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was uh that was the first he was the first he was also the first that introduced the option or his his cabinet was the first they they got the people the his his team got the people from the religious right involved mm -hmm. religion was not really a big part of voting before ronald reagan but ronald reagan and though that sort of kind of republican they got all these evangelical christians involved. evangelicals okay yeah and it's the then, same thing in brazil yeah same so thing. 